<laughs> okay, so welcome back uh, to some more reflections. Um, today, I won't be reflecting on the Daily Stoic. Instead, I will be reflecting on Atomic Habits. Since this is the book that I am currently reading instead of the Daily Stoic. Because, um, yeah, I want to improve myself academically. And I think this book will help me achieve that goal. So I'm going to put aside the daily stoic for now and focus on this book. So hopefully you guys can join me in this journey of myself improving. Buy the book if you want to <laughs> join me. But if you're just here to watch, thank you so much. Anyway. So reflecting on the first chapter, um, first is we have to define uh, what a habit is. Well, a habit is a well-learned response that has become automatic. One good example of this is um, the school of thought in psychology called behaviorism. The their main focus is basically is um, on external factors, not on the internal ones. If you can go ahead and look it up, uh, search for B.F. Skinner, Ivan Pavlov, um, John B. Watson, the father of behaviorism, as well as Mary Cover Jones. Uh, where she uh, coined the term counter conditioning. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but um, I have this question right here. How do we build habits? And how is it related in improving ourselves? Well, first we have to realize that. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, we have to realize that building habits are hard because it requires patience and sometimes results in frustration frustration there we go <laughs> uh, which is understandable but um, if it goes or gets out of hand it can become um, unacceptable and can even destroy your own habits that you've built so far on um, habits are not develop overnight you can't develop it on the spot when you're making a decision that for example you're going to study right now you can't just build a a habit out of out of the blue or on the spot or that instantaneously because that is not realistic But building habits is a slow process. You are going to start with 1% to 2% to 3% to 5% to 10% until you reach your goal. It's going to be a slow and arduous process. And you have to understand that and you have to endure it. Because you have a goal to achieve basically so that's basically how uh, how we want to perceive this um, knowledge or idea okay by building off of that 1% we really don't quickly realize uh, what our real process is we really uh, have this idea that our development is linear but that's not re really realistic uh, James Clear has this graph on his book um, that gives a an accurate 
um, representation of what our ideal development is and our realistic development is. So, yeah, don't underestimate that little progress that you've made because if you nurture it properly, um, it, will, it will become fruitful in the near future. So, about the graph, let me just mm -hmm. um, find it right here. So, here it is. It's called the um, Plateau of Latent Potential. Excuse me for my pronunciation if it's wrong. Basically, here it is. You can take a photo, flip it, because in my view, the camera is flipped. Here you go. Here's a closer look up. Damn, why is it not focusing? Focus, big bitch. Yo! Anyway, so basically what this graph tells us is that uh, this line over here is our real development and the linear line that's going upward in a straight manner is our um, ideal or our um, natural idea of what our um, development is. I can't find the word. It's stressing me out. But yeah, you should really wait patiently. And we're moving forward. We have to differentiate the good habits from the bad habits because if we can't, then um, we we can't really realize or we don't really realize that our bad habits are setting us back as well. So if there is um, a 1% bad habit is going to set the 1% um, development that you're um, trying to achieve, basically. So both of these requires the same process for building or breaking uh, said habits. We must distinguish in ourselves in what gives us that 1% and what makes us lose that 1%. Um, I'm looking down because I have my script here. <laughs> have I said it already? I uh, forgot. Anyway, we might not realize that bad habits are setting us back a lot. So we have to break it as soon as possible to reach the maximum progress efficiently. Like again, like I said earlier, it's going to set us back. Far. and um, if we want to achieve our goal quickly break the bad habits but what are bad habits exactly well bad habits are ones that inhibit you from achieving your goal so for example you want to be happy but you feel guilty by spending too much money so um, the bad habit there is you are a um, impulsive spender and you have to break that habit of course if you want to be happy ah oh, it's an oversimplified explanation but I think you get my point anyway James Clear made a graph Ah, yeah, this is what I have explained earlier. <laughs> anyway, moving forward, we should forget about um, the goals that we have set. We should focus instead on our systems that will increase our chances of achieving those goals. If you've never paid attention in what you are doing, but only focused on achieving that goal, 
how long will you realize that only staring at it instead of walking towards it will never be the same? How do you think the greatest singers, soccer, chess players, basketball players achieve their goals of becoming the best? Maybe it's because they're gifted or been blessed by uh, the divine providence but it would become a waste if they didn't put it if they didn't put the effort or the work to further enhance their craft I think you get my point anyway whatever uh, this is hard man okay moving forward um, all of us want to achieve the same thing the only difference is that we develop our own systems which either helps us or destroys us we are not in a competition with anybody but we are one with ourselves so we have all of us have the same goals that we want we want to get we want to be rich rich wealthy um, help other people whatever it is we all have the same goals dreams etc but what sets us different from each other is that uh, we build our systems differently one may be effective for him another may not be effective for them okay moving forward don't give too much importance on goals setting one is as easy as one two three but forming your own systems to achieve that goal requires more effort than anyone could imagine furthermore achieving those goals will only throw you in a loop how let's take into account James Clear's example for example um, your goal is to clean your room which is messy and dirty you've put the effort and you've put the effort and time to clean it but um, lo and behold it's dirty and messy again so what's the problem there the problem is that it's not about the results but on your systems is where the problem lies so if your system is being messy um, being dirty then there's a hot there's a high possibility that your room will be dirty again by the next time you clean it so how do we solve this recurring problem? Well, we have to break the bad habits. Build a good one, destroy the bad one. So the good one is, of course, cleaning your room. The bad one is um, being messy, being dirty, throwing your clothes all over your room, not vacuuming it every now and then. So that's also why it is important to identify the bad and the good. Um, additionally, our habits can be our goals as well. For example, changing your habit of being an addict, chain smoker, whatever it is. Just like um, in my example, being messy. Um, you could set your goal to be stop being um, stop being messy or start being clean. So build, try and build a good habit by eliminating the bad one. Starting with that one percent. Okay, I'm just repeating myself over and over. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> I am not. And lastly. Our goals do not give us happiness. You're shifting your perspective 
to a narrower version of itself. We deserve to be happy, of course. You shouldn't limit yourself in one goal. Again, like I said earlier, um, goals are easy to set up. It's as easy as one, two, three. So don't get caught up into it. Happiness comes from within, not from out outside factors or external factors. Okay. Well, it's bad because what if you've never achieved your goals then is it final to make it? <laughs> okay what if you've never achieved your goals never in your life then is it final to make the decision that you will never be happy again Anyway, that's gonna be it for me for this chapter one reflection. Um, in the next video, I will I will try and reflect on chapter two, or maybe play games again. I don't know. I'm quite busy with schoolworks, stressing me out, man. Um. Anyway, thank you for joining me in this chapter. Um. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. By the book. Adios.